welcome everyone to the environment primer series of just gis my name is pragya and today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is in news recently you all know that artificial intelligence is the next big thing in the market and definitely it is going to revolutionize our efforts towards tackling the climate change the title of our today's discussion is can ai tool make weather predictions accurately in this discussion we'll firstly see that what is the new ai tool launched at the cop28 we are also going to analyze how does this ai tool works then we are also going to see how ai has helped in weather forecasting then we are also going to see what will be the impact of this new ai then we are also going to analyze the uh, efforts of ai or the use of ai in tackling climate change and then we are going to see a practice question for your prelims examination and a practice question for your mains examination So, let's talk about the background of our today's topic. Recently, the 20th edition of the COP 20th has been concluded, and as I have been explaining to you in the environment primer episodes, that yes, now the countries are more focused on the solution-centric approaches. They are not, uh, uh, you know, we're talking about the problems only. That we have this problem, this problem, this sub problem. No, now they are wanting solutions to those problems, solutions to tackle the worst impacts of climate change. and now at cop28 a re, uh, artificial intelligence platform has been launched and definitely it is going to enhance the weather forecasting capacities and definitely this is going to help the countries in tackling climate change so for example uh, imagine that you are planning a picnic for today and suddenly the rain comes by and you think that why is this rain here now i'll not be able to go outside but supposedly if you know about this rainy day beforehand you will plan a, your picnic according to that only na so all of this is possible now by artificial intelligence it can definitely make weather predictions more accurate in nature so recently what happened was an earthquake had struck china so before the striking of this earthquake the scientists knew that an earthquake was going to come it is just that they could not uh, you know figure out the exact location on which it would strike but yes if you talk about the knowledge they had the knowledge of this earthquake and supposedly if they are in future if they are also uh, able to figure it out the location exact location at where the earthquake will strike on the earth definitely they are going to prevent the severe damages caused by this earthquake so this is how accurate the weather forecasting is actually going to become by the use of this artificial intelligence moving forward let us understand that what is the new ai that has been launched at the cop 28 so cop 28 has recently concluded as i have mentioned and definitely the countries are trying to figure out a solution towards climate change so at the recent cop 28 nasa and ibm announced that an artificial intelligence tool called as the watson x ai would be available on the open source ai pro, uh, platform hugging space so what with this watson x ai do it will monitor the earth from space and definitely it can figure it out whenever there is a natural disaster that is going on what has happened in the past what is going to happen in the future and definitely how can you enhance your efforts for the future occurrence of those disasters so watson x ai will help users monitor the earth from space as i have mentioned and measuring environmental changes that have already happened while also making predictions about the future so definitely this is going to be a game changer in our efforts towards tackling climate change moving forward let us understand that how will this ai tool work so we are well aware about the working of microsoft wing open ai's uh, ai tool known as the chat gpt etc so this is going to work exactly like similar to them okay the only difference will be you will be putting prompts in form of pictures rather than words okay so like microsoft swings open ai chat gpt and other chat bots vaxinix ai is also built on a foundation model it's trained on a broad set of uncategorized data allowing the model to apply information about one situation to another so the scientists at nasa have provided a different different set of pictures to this ai and in these pictures what has happened is there were some missing pictures as well so they were in the form of a jigsaw puzzle and this ai was asked by the scientists to uh, arrange the jigsaw puzzle to make a meaningful meaningful prediction so this was able to do so and that is how they trained this ai to segregate the 
pictures to segregate climate uh, uh, satellite images to uh, you know recognize the climatic patterns and this is how this ai was uh, you know trained by the nasa scientists in case of watson x ai nasa provides the data sets in terms of satellite images and this is what i have just explained to you instead of a word prompt so in this ai you are not going to give a word prompt like you give in the case of microsoft bing or in the case of chat gpt or in the case of google bard so no this is not going to work on the word prompts you will have to prompt the pictures okay and ibm has created the foundation model to interpret the sense of this pictures using the technology moving forward in better test across the last year the model has demonstrated a 15% improvement in mapping flood and burn scars over the continental united states using half as much as label data compared to existing techniques so it is difficult for the existing techniques to segregate bulk of data the data of weather forecasting comes in tons and tons there is a tons and tons of data that is available and it is not possible to segregate them but this ai has shown a 15% improvement in data cleaning data segregation making sense of the bulk amount of data available uh, in relation to the weather forecast okay the model is also designed to be extremely simple to use a user would merely need to select a location and a date and the model will highlight changes in the flood water reforestation efforts and other relevant factors so this will be very simple to use you will put the pictures and definitely you will be able to figure out what is going on environmentally in your area or the location and definitely you can analyze the climate change uh, efforts tackling climate change efforts that are going on by the help of this ai tool moving forward let us understand that how ai has helped in the weather forecasting so the use of ai tool in weather forecasting is not new it has been used since the 1970s but technology during that time was very complex technology now has very much evolved we are using new new technologies we are using new new super computers to make accurate weather predictions for example open up your smartphone search the weather app and type weather for today or it will be showing not only the weather for today not only the temperature for today in the humidity levels etc but for the upcoming week so this is possible because of the use of artificial intelligence so in recent decades weather prediction has improved rapidly with today's 6 days forecast as accurate as the 5 day forecast 10 years ago okay so as i have explained open up your smartphone you will having you will be having a 6 day forecast of the upcoming weather so you will not have to cancel your plans you will be able to predict the weather and then you can make your plans to go outside then hurricane tracks can be predicted with more accuracy 3 days in advance than they could 24 hours in advance 40 years ago so 40 years ago it was not possible to predict the exact upcoming of a hurricane uh, before 24 hours okay but now we are predicting it 3 days in advance definitely it will increase the preparedness as well as it will decrease the damages cost you might have heard in the news also that yes the cyclone is coming it will be striking at this coast it is turning you know more severe in nature so all of this is available the local meteorological stations are able to predict the same and that is why they take more efforts to avoid the severe consequences of this natural disaster and this is this is how accurate the weather prediction has become nowadays weather models today base their predictions on massive computing simulations that run on interpret uh, interpreted data so they use complex supercomputers to segregate the data and definitely it can predict the weather patterns more accurately than ever before moving forward what were the challenges beforehand which are now being solved by the artificial intelligence tools that we are using in weather forecasting so the first was the access to that data is hard to come by which data weather data as i have explained to you previously also that yes these data are in tons and tons and definitely they are in massive volumes it is not easier to predict them you know to make sense of that data but by the use of ai it is definitely has become more easier to interpret those weather data secondly analyzing the same is an ever harder task so the local stations you know had the people definite did 
the local weather stations had a de dedicated team to deal with the analyzing of this data but now the use of ai has definitely solved this problems and have made the uh, task of the local uh, meteorological teams more easier okay now let us understand that what will be the impact of this newly launched ai at the cop28 so according to the ibm this approach has the potential to minimize the amount of data cleaning and labeling needed to train a typical deep learning model and it could speed up geographical analysis by a factor of 3 to 4 just imagine how accurate it is going to become the weather forecast is going to become bit definitely it is going to enhance the capacities of data by you know predicting it more accurately analyzing the data more accurately segregating the data so all of this uh, uh, processes is going to increase like be enhanced by 3 to 4 times uh, than the previous efforts when this type of generative AI is used in weather forecasting in future, it may be possible to anticipate hurricanes, droughts and other catastrophic weather occurrences with greater accuracy and definitely it will increase the preparedness of the countries in which these uh, natural disasters are going to occur. So, as I have mentioned that yes, the scientists were this time able to figure it out that yes, an earthquake was going to uh, strike China but they could not figure out the exact location on the earth in on which it could strike but with the help of ai in future it might be possible so definitely it is a very positive step in tackling the worst impacts of climate change that we are going to face moving forward the technology could also apply to businesses helping disaster response teams to prepare for fires impacting residential housing or helping supply chain logistic companies better understand macro weather patterns so, with this um, uh, weather patterns, knowledge of weather patterns, definitely these disasters could also be prevented by the use of this AI tool. Moving forward, let us understand AI and its impact on climate change. So, according to the Boston Consulting Group, AI survey report, 87% of the private and public sector CEOs believe that AI is an essential tool in the fight against climate change because of its enhanced capacities because of its enhanced use by the scientists definitely it is going to be a game changer in tackling the climate change but what no one is talking about is the carbon footprints of this ai technology co2 footprints this still remains an issue because definitely this uh, ai technology has its own carbon footprints and definitely it is increasing the CO2 emissions in the uh, environment but yes with the help of AI we can reduce the emissions of CO2 in the environment as well. So this is how progressive the AI is going to become that it will solve its own limitations in the future. Useful in the transportation sector, I will explain this to you how open your google maps and you will be able to figure out the most efficient route to take. How is this possible? By analyzing the uh, AI data by the uh, use of various Google smartphones in which the Google Maps is installed. So, definitely it will decongest the traffic. Then agricultural sector, definitely in India this year by the use of AI, there has been an increase of 30% of produce. It is used in efficient use of water, irrigation, etc. So, yes, we are trying to use the AI to increase our agricultural yields as well. AI may also be used to assess emissions at the micro, macro and micro levels, cut emissions and the impacts of greenhouse gases and remove already existing emissions from the environment. So, um, previously we were discussing the carbon dioxide removal. So, this AI is also helpful in not only in carbon dioxide removal but in removing the emissions from the environment that have already been occurred. So, AI definitely is a big game changer in the tackling the climate change and it is the next big thing that is happening. With this, we come to a conclusion of our today's discussion. We have seen that yes, in future, the weather forecasting is going to become more accurate in nature. Definitely, AI can be used to tackle climate change and AI is so progressive that it is capable of decreasing its own emissions in the environment as well as the emissions of other greenhouse gases. And it can manage the, uh, you know, and it can manage the efforts at tackling climate change better. Now, let us discuss a practice question for your prelims examination. 
So the question is consider the following statements. Your statement number one is AI driven forecast empower governments to make informed policy decisions proactively. Your statement number two is what's the next AI is developed by NASA and IBM and it was launched at the COP28. Which of these statements given above is are correct? Your options are option A is one only, option B is two only, option C is both one and two and option D is none of the above. Kindly drop your answers in the comment box below. Now let us analyze a practice question for your mains examination. So the question is, how is AI helpful in making accurate weather predictions? So firstly, we will write about the AI that has been launched and you will write about the working mechanism of the AI as I have discussed in my discussion today. Then definitely you can write that AI is more efficient in analyzing the data, collecting the data, segregating the data, analyzing the satellite images because it is going to monitor the earth from space. So it could figure out the weather patterns very easily, the environmental changes that have been done in the past and the environmental changes that are going to take place in the future. And you can conclude holistically that yes, AI is the next big thing in tackling climate change. It is so powerful that it can reduce emissions from the environment as well. So you can conclude very holistically. I hope this session was insightful for you. If you have any feedback regarding this session, kindly drop it in the comment box below. If you liked the today's discussion and found it to be helpful, kindly like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such updates. Thank you.